What's up, YouTube? I am on my way to my gym, and uh, the gym I'm a member of is a little bit uh, better than your average gym. They don't have just the scale that you weigh yourself on and the um, little electronic body fat measurement. They actually do blood tests. They do RMR testing, which is your rest of resting metabolic rate and active metabolic rate, and I am on my way there now. I can take you guys with me, and I'm going to have both those tests done, and we'll see what the results are. I'll know exactly how many calories I burn in a day, and uh, how much I burn during exercise. So, let's go. Hey YouTube, so uh, hopefully you could hear my introduction there. Uh, I did go to my gym, Lifetime Fitness, and uh, it's much better than your average gym. They do a lot of testing here. Kind of a scientific approach to weight loss, or I'd say more of a calculated uh, approach to weight loss. They don't just stick you in the gym and say, hey, you know, go work out, but they'll um, provide the testing. Uh, for you to find out specifically how your body runs. So, I had the RMR, resting metabolic rate, and active metabolic rate tests done here. And uh, right here, I'm just weighing in, and they use the electrical impedance to figure out your body fat percent and your weight. This form's not accurate, it's not very accurate. Um, but uh, they do have me at 16.7%. I was at 16.8 in a dunk tank about uh, back in April, and I was three or four pounds heavier. So I know that that percentage is off just a little bit. Um, I've measured myself recently with calipers, and with calipers, I came up with closer to 14.5 to 15%. So I'm somewhere between 14.5 to 16.5% body fat. Uh, just fluctuates somewhere in there so yeah um, obviously goals single digits so uh, I found some information here now that's going to be pretty powerful to kind of pinpoint exactly what I need to do so obviously I'm not following uh, a program by lifetime still uh, following the keto gains uh, protocol if you go to ketogains.com, you can follow the calculator there, uh, as well as they have a, several lifting programs. Um, there's a novice program, but lately I've been doing German volume training under the tutelage of Dark Luigi, aka Louis Velasenor from Keto Gains. He's been doing keto for 15 years and uh, has built quite a bit of muscle of that time. So just wrapping up German volume training right now. But wanted to get these tests done, so here they did a finger prick for uh, testing your cholesterol. And I had my cholesterol done uh, again back in April or May when I had my yearly physical. And uh, cholesterol came out to 232. They want you under 200, but uh, the lady here obviously recognized. Uh, she said, hey, being on a ketogenic diet, you're going to have uh, cholesterol that's a little bit higher, but um, it doesn't mean as much unless you get a particle test uh, because the particle size is going to be what matters. HDL was 51, triglycerides 83. Uh, they want that under 100, which that's up just slightly because I was at 67, I believe, last time. And then LDL was 164. Uh, triglyceride to HDL ratio 4.5 and glucose uh, was 97. So overall, uh, great. My heart's not going to explode because I'm eating high-fat ketogenic diet. Uh, next, we tested uh, blood pressure, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I had posted uh, what my blood pressure was then. I believe it was right at 100 over 64 uh, last time I got my blood pressure. And uh, here you can see we're at 107 over 69. So again, right above that, uh, right around that optimal range uh, for athlete and children. So pretty pleased with that. 
Next, we did the resting metabolic rate. And again, this is where you really find out some really cool information, guys. I found out that the normal person at rest burns 60% fat, 40% carbs, and I burn 83% fat, 17% carbs uh, for my calories. So pretty powerful. The optimal range is 80%, and I'm at 83 and only 20% from carbs, and I'm at 17%. So pretty powerful. Um, and I found out that I burned 1,339 calories at rest, 401 lifestyle, so about 1,739 calories. So that's pretty powerful uh, information, guys, because then you know exactly what your maintenance level is. You can create your deficit and kind of go from there. I have 101,387 calories available from fat, which is why I wanted to become fat adapted so I could tap into those. Um, so here I'm doing the active metabolic test, nothing impressive. I, I haven't done a lot of running recently, so uh, VO2 max was 37.9. Out of very poor, poor, fair, good, great, optimal, I was fair. And uh, you know, found out uh, my heart rate zone for burning fat. So that's it, guys. Um, ketogenic diet can turn you into a fat burning machine as it has done for me uh, and give you great biomarkers as I've been experiencing. So. Hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, until next time, keep it keto, my friends.